Hi guys, this is Pratyush Shaitan and welcome to Kanak Info Systems YouTube channel. Today I am going to tell you about how to create and inherit JS template in Odoo. Whenever we work in mail, point of sale, calendar, web or any JS containing module of Odoo and we want to change some looks or functionalities, we face some issues that how things will be done. So today I am clearing all those issues and problems we face while creating a new template or inheriting the already existing one. So when we are creating a new template, we name template by t name and must write owl equal to 1 for making our template as an owl template. We must create a new JS file containing a component based JS class and link it up with our new template. So here I have created a new template named as navbar menu and also added a attribute called owl equal to 1 for making this particular template as an owl template. Also I have added few tags here. Here I have created a tags for making this particular template as a button. So I have used an anchor tag and also the icon tag. You can see that. Also I have created a new JS class which is called navbar menu. Which, which is an extension of component. Also, I have assigned this particular navbar menu class as a new template which is called navbar menu. You can do this particular thing also by this way, the shortest way you can say, which is a navbar menu dot a template equal to navbar menu. You can choose any of these uh, options to write uh, this mm, this particular thing. In this way, we can also use uh, something like uh, uh, we can also use something like uh, we can also assign a new components uh, if we want to add some component here. For adding component uh, using this way, we can uh, do by navbar menu dot uh, component equal to and here we will add a new component okay now we will move toward inheriting of JS template so inheriting template uh, based on based on a t in height mode if t in height mode equal to extension then this means we are changing some functionality in already existing one template if t in height mode equal to primary then we are creating a new template with the help of the functionality of uh, already editing one template. So uh, here are a few examples of uh, teen height mode equal to primary. Okay. So here the we are in uh, this particular piece of code I have used from Udo default Udo 16. So here you can see that uh, the Udo have uh, to inheriting the web dot tag list and creating a new uh, template named as field many to many tag email tag list and here they are just uh, adding tf before a span and anchor tag and also th this is another example of t height mode equal to primary where uh, we have uh, inheriting the web uh, web dot many to one avatar field and just uh, changing the attribute to create a new avatar field meant to one after user field okay you can do this one also so uh, when we are inheriting template uh, using t inherit mode equal to extension we use xpath uh, and we and uh, add new functionality or change the existing one in both in both t in height mode equal to extension and t in height mode equal to primary we use xpath but the difference is uh, we are creating a new template in in the case of primary and in the case of extension we are changing the already existing one if you need more detail about how to use xpath in odoo you can comment down and i'll create a new video covering all the functionality of xpath so the few uh, so, some few examples of uh, teen height mode equal to extension so here uh, we can use uh, we are use uh, this this particular code also used from Udo default uh, so here the teen height mode equal to extension and the t we are in uh, Udo is inheriting 
uh, web dot form view. Uh, so this is the piece of code. You can see that this is another example of uh, teen height mode equal to extension where the uh, Udo is uh, inheriting web. Uh, this is uh, mail activity menu, mail dot activity activity menu view, and uh, using X path uh, position after uh, adding some some piece of code. Uh, after this particular name okay this particular field div or anything you can say that okay so this type of template creation and inheriting method mostly used in Udo 14 and above now in Udo 17 most of the GS classes are component based GS classes so in Udo 17 there is so much use of these concepts if you guys need more information and knowledge about this topic just comment below and i'll provide a live session explaining this topic in detail thank you for watching uh, watching my video please like share subscribe to connect info systems youtube channel we upload new video every day covering these type of useful odoo and erp concepts so please press the bell icon so that you never miss any update. Thanks.